Hello, everyone, and welcome to John's Game Room. Uh, for our uh, premiere episode, uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about a uh, kind of a, a crown jewel of mine collection, the, uh, the Misadventures of Tron Bond for uh, PS1 or PSX, if you're nasty. Um, so I had actually gotten this um, from, this was another one of my, and, and you, if you if you watched uh, some of our other videos, you may be familiar with it, one of my $20 specials. It was the summer of 2002. Uh, like I said, I, by that point, I'd had a PS2, but I was still on the hunt for PS1 games. At this point, PS1 games were clearancing out, so you could get some of the rarer ones, um, or the ones that would become more rare for for like twenty dollars, and this was this was the case with Tron Bon at uh, at Funko Land. Um, I think it was a case of I, I had just recently gotten a uh, debit card and uh, went right to the Smith Haven Mall and started abusing it. So I got uh, I got Misadventures of Tron Bon. Now by then I had already um, I had already played Marvel's Capcom Two, which kind of sold me on the character. I thought I thought she was one of my mains and one of my favorites in Marvel's Capcom Two. Um, I was only vaguely aware of her beyond that. I knew of Mega Man Legends, but I and, and I had I had tried them, but I hadn't played them very extensively. But I did like her. She was really the main reason I even kind of gave gave a, a toss about the uh, you know the Mega Man Legends series was mainly her influence. So uh, I was excited that she had her own standalone game, and I still do have it. Uh, like I said, it's one of the rarer pieces in my collection. It's still. Uh, you know, still there, and and uh, you know, I haven't I haven't played it in many moons. I you know, really since basically since back then, and um, yeah, I would say it's I, I haven't played it in a long time, but I would say that I, I would say that I still enjoy it. Um, you know, it's it, it's fun. I, you know, the kind of thing that maybe at some point I wouldn't mind uh, picking up again just for the fun of it. It was a pretty lighthearted, straightforward thing. I don't remember it being a terribly long game, but it was um you know it was exciting. You know, there was there was a. Uh, you know, puzzles. There was a lot of interesting uh, mini games, and you could like torture and train the the serve bots and things like that. So uh, there was a lot of, of a variety to the gameplay. I said the character was a lot of fun, and um, you know, her and her, her and her wacky uh, space pirate family. And these days, I'm, I'm, I'm Tron Bon. I've always kind of associated with the the Marvel series, the Marvel versus series. You know, Marvel's Capcom Two. Was happy to see that she's in Marvel's Capcom Com Three as well. Um, so that's mainly where I where I, I interact with the uh, the character, but it's still you know I really just like having having the game in my uh, collection because like I said that for whatever reason there weren't many of them printed. I don't know if Capcom just didn't think it was gonna go over big or if it was just a limited release or whatever the case may be. But uh, you know and and the, the character the character is interesting because she's. Uh, she's sort of she's sort of a level a lovable antagonist. I, I I hesitate to even call her a bad guy or even a villain because it's one of those you know her her methods and her morality is kind of gray and, and and is and her her goals are at odds with the hero of the series. But altogether, she's definitely not the worst. Uh, you know, she's not Doctor Wily levels of, of evil if we're uh, you know if we're comparing it to to the Mega Man universe there. Um, you know, and you know she's she's adorable. She's got the Lego servbots. Um, and uh, you know, just overall, just a really, a really fun, really fun character, and uh, you know, a lot of, lot of heart, a lot of, and you know, with Capcom games, it was it, Tron Bon is also another rare, rare instance of it's a Capcom game that I own that's not a fighting game that doesn't have anything to do with Street Fighter or Dark Stalkers or anything like that. So it's a, it is a rare, like I said, non-fighting game Capcom game in my collection, uh, which gives it a, a certain amount of distinction for that. Uh, for that reason alone, so I yeah I would say that I you know I, I would definitely enjoy playing it again. I think it's and I would definitely recommend it to anybody that that can get their hands on it. Um, you know I don't know how how uh, feasible that is these days, I, and I don't know if it's if it's seen any kind of virtual console release or anything like that, any PlayStation Network type uh, type setups. But if you can track it down, I would definitely say it's a, it's you know it's it's great fun. You can uh, you can you know run around in her uh, I think it's the, the Gustav. Uh, tank uh you know picking up trees and uh shooting and, and things like that um you know three 360 environments run around kind of just like i said if you have any experience with the Mega Man legend games it's kind of uh kind of more of the same so it's uh it's it's all together a pretty uh you know pretty pretty exciting thing to find pretty exciting thing to own and uh you know it, it uh like i said I, I i it remains the the uh crown jewel of my uh of my collection well, that does it for today's installment. Thank you all for joining us and uh, hope to see you again in the next level. Uh, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and um, you know, feel free to uh, catch up with us next time. See you later.